Next up on our menu is clearances. This section of the admin user interface allows you to control what each user can and cannot do in the system. The default clearances are administrator, supervisor, default user, drive app user, view only, and nothing. Looking at the administrator level of access, you can see that all of the individual tasks an administrator might need to do are listed. And as you can see, there are tons of them. The default clearance levels will be sufficient for most clients, but we're also able to create subclearances. If we need someone to have more access than a supervisor, but less than an administrator, that is very easy to do by creating a subclearance where we add or take away permission to perform specific tasks. Let's go back to our original list and from the default supervisor clearance, I'm going to create a clearance level that allows some additional access for managing drivers. First, we open the supervisor clearance, then click to add a subclearance. Using this search field, I'm going to display task items that include the word driver. Now I can set this new user clearance level up to be able to administer users and drivers, and he can manage driver activity groups. It would also make sense to allow listing the users and drivers. Now I'm going to name this clearance level Supervisor with Driver Access. Click Save. Now you can see we have a new subclearance available to us in our clearances list. If you ever want to remove a clearance, you can easily remove a subclearance, but first you'll need to remove any users that are assigned to that clearance level. Default clearances cannot be edited or removed. 